Back to the phone lines. It's Chris in Seattle. Hello there, Chris. Hi, it was Ray. Good morning. How are you today? I am well. How about you? First and foremost, I'm a husband. Got to be that first. And I'm a father and I'm a grandfather. I grew up in uh, South Philadelphia, big time Catholic family. My mom and dad were very devout Christians and Catholics. And so I learned early on that you don't lie, cheat, steal, or mislead. The Brain Trust, always in the house for you on the Ray Lucia Show. So the Ray Lucia brand started out uh, a long time ago. It must have been the early 1990s after a fairly successful career starting with uh, the life insurance industry and then eventually getting my securities licenses and becoming a certified financial planner. Be home just to keep our family, you know, yeah, uh, and you, okay. what you're gonna have Well, the do. financial planning business, is a, it's a wonderful business. And, and the, the thing that I love most about it is the people. When I was doing my seminars, I mean, literally, I, I did them for 10 people, 30 people, 300 people, 1,500 people. Of course, we felt like we were making a difference. Boy, the last couple of years have been absolutely devastating and brutal as it relates to the stock market. At the peak of my career, it was lights out. I mean, it was really, really fun. The weekend before the SEC uh, press release hit, I'm out in my swimming pool with my grandkids. I'm flipping them up and down. Life is good. 48 hours later, the SEC press release hits. Ray Lucia has been a local fixture on radio and in his investment seminars. For now, it appears he will remain on the radio. And literally within 15, 20 minutes, Channel 8's in the front lobby, Channel 10's in the front lobby. The phones are ringing off the hook. And uh, that was the day my life changed. I've been contacted by other people. I've read some of our briefs. For many years, Ray Lucia had presented a financial strategy that had been reviewed and approved hundreds of times by his broker-dealer advisors who were registered with FINRA. Nonetheless, the SEC in 2010 objected to his use of the word backtest for the first time. Ray Lucia immediately stopped using that word. In a rational world, that would have been the end of story. Instead, two years later, the SEC charges him with fraud. That is wrong. We're just Rocky and Jeannie from Poway. <laughs> We're really just, it's, it's really hard to, um, to put that realization um, in perspective. It, it just doesn't seem that that's really, really us. It was a shock for someone to be questioning his integrity. For those allegations to come forward against him and then ultimately you know, flowing over onto our family, that's been very, very devastating. I told Jeannie, I said, you know, if, if we stand up to the government, we will more than likely lose everything. It's hard to do. So I don't care. There is a subterranean form of prosecution known as administrative law judging. Americans today are 10 times more likely to be brought before an administrative law judge than a real judge. Those courts deny Americans their fundamental civil liberties. Ray Lucia's case is the perfect example of all that can go wrong when that happens. One talk show in America that helps you make better money moves. Sidekick, Johnny Dean. Hey, Johnny, hey. everybody. Good to have I you on remember, board. I remember you. I got to tell you what, I'm here for the applause. I've known Ray Lucia for the better part of 28 years. Uh, Ray's always been an honest person. He's always been very open. He's taught me a lot about the business and how the ethics of the business work. And that was one of the first things I noticed about it, too, was that his ethics were always unquestioned. I have never seen a case like this in my entire career. Here is a man who needs to defend himself before a biased judge, then go before the very commission who has prosecuted him for his first right of appeal, go then into courts that defer to those administrative agencies, wins his point at the United States Supreme Court, and what is the result? He gets to go back and do it all over again. No rational or constitutional system 
would ever provide for a system of justice that worked in that fashion. The goal in this case is to protect Ray Lucia's constitutional rights. It's time for justice to prevail. This is by far the fight of my life, and it's a fight for me, and it's a fight for the entire industry, because nobody should have to go through what I have had to go through, my family has had to go through, the business has had to go through. Personally, I would like to see total vindication for Ray, because I'm one of the many who knows he did nothing wrong. That's always been what he has been about, is always doing the right thing and how we, how we live our lives.